Bill, thank you for submitting your poem on time. Uh, let's take a look at it together. Okay, the first thing I notice is it doesn't have a title. Um, think about titling your poems. That is extremely helpful to uh, to the reader. All right, uh, let's take a look at this one. Let's uh, let's let me read it out loud, and then I'll make some comments for you and try to mark it up and uh, be as helpful as I can. By the road to the contagious hospital, under the surge of the blue mottled clouds driven from the northeast, a cold wind. Beyond the waste of broad muddy fields, brown with dried weeds, standing and fallen. Patches of standing water, the scattering of tall trees. All along the road, the reddish, purplish, forked, upstanding, twiggy stuff of bushes and small trees, with dead, brown leaves under them, lifeless vines, lifeless in appearance, sluggish, dazed spring approaches. They enter the new world naked, cold, uncertain of all, save that they enter. All about them, the cold, familiar wind. Now the grass, tomorrow, the stiff curl of wild carrot leaf. One by one, objects are divined, <coughs> excuse me, defined. It quickens, clarity, outline of leaf, but now the stark dignity of entrance. Still, the profound change has come upon them. Rooted, they grip down and begin to awaken. All right, well, this is a very, very interesting poem, unusual uh, a poem for a number of different reasons, but let's uh, let's take it from the beginning and uh, see what uh, what we can do with it. All right, uh, let's take a look. By the road to the contagious hospital. Well, um, love contagious. That's an excellent uh, choice of adjective for the hospital. Um, it's unusual. It uh, it uh, is striking, and it really sets the uh, uh, the mood for the poem. Um, I would suggest that uh, you consider using that first line as the title. Uh, it sounds like a potentially uh, um, resonant title uh, uh, to me. Uh, by the road of the contagious hospital, under the surge of the blue mottled clouds. Okay, uh, blue mottled clouds. Um, Blue clouds. Well, that's uh, uh, that's unusual. Uh, unless you mean under the surge of the blue, and then model clouds driven from the northeast. Um, so uh, unclear. There's a certain ambiguity uh, there. Um, I like mottled clouds. Uh, not sure about that adjective. Driven from the northeast. Why do we need that detail? Uh, why is that essential in this uh, poem? Uh, the cold wind. Okay, that uh, that's good. Uh, beyond the waste of broad muddy fields, brown with dried weeds. Well, I wonder about that brown with uh, brown describing the muddy fields. It seems like uh, we would. Uh, already know that the fields were uh, were brown waste of broad muddy fields okay uh, dried weeds standing and fallen why is that essential um, I think we'd have a sense of uh, of that already uh, not sure what that really adds to the poem it's patches of standing water okay the scattering of tall trees uh, okay so fields weeds water trees got it uh, all along the road, the reddish, purplish, forked, upstanding, twiggy stuff of bushes and small, okay, uh, twiggy stuff of bushes. Well, um, it seems to me that at this moment in the poem that we have an attempt uh, to really describe something exactly as it is, but the problem is that uh, all those details don't really contribute to giving us a clear picture of what it is there it's it, it, it seems to me like a forced attempt to be so exact an observation that we lose the picture um, and I compare that uh, I compare this particular uh, section with uh, the uh, the part that comes later um, so let's take a look at that for a second and then let's take a look at this part uh, the stiff curl of a uh, wild carrot leaf now that strikes me as an absolutely brilliant uh, detail, a wonderful observation. But compare that, compare the preciseness of that, compare the the the, the picture of that to the reddish, purplish, forked, upstanding, twiggy stuff of bushes. Um, my mind, no comparison. Much preferable to go here rather than 
to uh, to uh, try something like this, which seems to me to be uh, unsuccessful. And small trees with dead brown leaves under them. Well, uh, dead brown leaves. Um, why dead? Uh, I understand it uh, connects to uh, to lifeless. I understand that we have uh, kind of a uh, a birth uh, entering the world naked, but still. Um, leaves, uh, unless they're connected to uh, the tree, are not alive. So dead seems to me to be uh, not a, uh, a very good choice there. Brown leaves. Um, we had the uh, brown with dried leaves above, so I'm not sure, again, why we need this here. And why even we need to give the detail of that the trees have leaves under them. seems that we already have kind of established that, uh, that, that's, that uh, Perhaps not, but uh, but still, I'm not sure what this really uh, adds. And then the leafless vines. I understand leafless and lifeless. Uh, I like that kind of uh, connection. That's uh, that's good. Um, but uh, uh, let's think about it a little bit. Lifeless in appearance, sluggish. Days spring approaches. Days absolutely wonderful. Uh, just like contagious, an excellent uh, excellent choice. They enter the new world naked. Now, this is a very interesting sentence because the they has an ambiguous antecedent. Um, could be the kind of things you're talking about here in terms of the natural kind of elements. Could be uh, something about what happens in the contagious hospital. Hospital contagious, but also a place where uh, uh, children are born. So. Um, I like that ambiguity in that they. They enter the new world. And of course, naked suggests human beings rather than uh, uh, aspects of, uh, of nature. They enter the new world naked, cold, very good, uncertain of all, save that they enter. Uh, OK, uh, great. All about them, the cold, familiar wind. Well, cold and cold, why that, uh, that repetition? And the familiar wind. Uh, um, again, uh, I'm not sure what we're really going for uh, there. Now the grass, uh, okay, oh, got it. Uh, now the grass, tomorrow the stiff curl of wild carrot leaf. Already commented on this line. It's an excellent line, and this is a wonderful couplet. Now the grass, tomorrow the stiff curl of wild carrot leaf. Also liked uh, the ending of the line of tomorrow uh, and the kind of uh, enjambment toward uh, tomorrow the stiff curl of wild carrot leaf. Quite different from the break of the line up above, where you have model clouds driven from the northeast. Uh, it seems like an odd break there. And of course, then in the next line, beyond the waste, uh, seems like an odd choice as, uh, as well. One by one, objects are defined. Love this. Love this. Absolutely fantastic. Excellent, excellent work. It quickens. Again, the same odd uh, pronoun, uh, ambiguous pronoun, with the unclear uh, antecedent. Just like they enter the new world naked, it quickens. What's the it? But it uh, works very well in the poem. Clarity, outline of leaf. Like that very much. Stiff curl of wild carrot leaf, outline of leaf. Uh, somewhat repetitious, but I think it still works because of the uh, clarity and outline. But now the stark dignity of entrance. Oh, that's quite brilliant, Bill. Uh, that's really, really good. Particularly the shift uh, to the but. Um, all the rest of the poem, then all of a sudden, but now uh, uh, connecting us with uh, with the uh, uh, now the grass and then the uh, tomorrow there. But now the dark dignity of entrance. I feel it. It's it's happening. Still, the profound change has come upon them. Again, one, another one of these really strange. Uh, ambiguous uh, pronouns that the poem is filled with, uh, but I like it. I like the way that those are kind of, uh, you know, sequenced. Rooted, they grip down, uh, and of course it's the plants, uh, but it's also perhaps uh, the human beings uh, being born, enter the new world uh, naked. Rooted, they grip down, or maybe it's uh, us as readers, or maybe it's you as the poet. Rooted, they grip down and begin to awaken. And 
I can't applaud more uh, the ending of the poem with the word awaken. It's uh, exactly the right uh, the word. It's the poem about awakening. It's the poem about seeing. It's the poem about coming to consciousness. It's the poem about coming into the world, the new world, naked, born, uh, uh, and experiencing uh, uh, the, uh, the the world as it comes at us when when, when we're when, when we're newborn to it. Um, like that very much. Well, all in all, Bill, I think it's an extremely strong poem filled with a lot of uh, excellent lines. The one bit that I do think needs a little bit reworking is thinking about that uh, reddish purplish forked up standing twiggy stuff of bushes, but be and, and perhaps a little work on the first stanza to tighten that up a little bit. It seems a little loose to me there, particularly with the uh, end, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the thus at the end of those lines. But other than that, uh, an excellent poem. Uh, my assessment, uh, 94%. Well done, Bill.